This video is the first in a series I've wanted to do for a long time. Rather than simply watch all the films in Criterion's massive Igmar Bergman Blu-ray set, I thought, hey, why not make a video essay for every film in the set? So that's what we're gonna do. From Crisis to Saraband, this series will cover all 39 films in Criterion's Igmar Bergman cinema set. Each short essay will foreground a new Bergman film, but approaches will vary. Maybe it'll be a thematic analysis, aesthetic appraisal, or genre study. Maybe we'll put the film in conversation with bigger historical trends. Maybe we'll just talk about a single scene. Who knows? But we'll cover everything, from iconic classics like The Seventh Seal and Persona, to more obscure gems like Port of Call and A Lesson in Love. So strap in, we've got a lot of Bergman to cover. Igmar Bergman's first film can be considered a thesis statement. Though hardly a great work in its own right, 1946's Crisis offers a glimpse at the types of stories, techniques, and themes which would define Bergman's career. As Christine Smallwood argues, Crisis shows flashes of Bergman becoming Bergman. From the very start, the omniscient narrator declares, let the play begin, a significant declaration for a director as prolific on stage as he was on screen. It also reveals a theatrical influence that would pervade Bergman's cinema. In Crisis, this is reflected in the ensemble storytelling, which focuses on an extended family in a state of, well, crisis. But at the core of this crisis is two women. Perhaps unsurprising given Bergman's eventual reputation as a woman's director, Crisis shows great sensitivity to both characters' stories. On the one hand, there's the adopted mother Ingborg, whose role is challenged by the arrival of her foster child's biological mother. This conflict is best represented in this two-shot, vaguely reminiscent of Persona, with both women occupying the same space, representing their shared role as mothers, but at different levels, representing their different levels of involvement with their daughter. On the other hand, there's Nellie, the young daughter in question at the crux of her sexual awakening. There's a certain youthful romanticism to Nellie's flirtations with Jack, but this soon gives way to a more sobering reality, as Jack's lies and the responsibilities of adulthood come crushing down. This type of woman-centered coming-of-age story is central to much of Bergman's early work, reaching a point of maturity in Summer with Monica. But in the less refined crisis, we already see Bergman's concern with how women move through patriarchal systems. Other Bergman elements are less fully formed. There are references to religion in the form of the scene with Ingborg praying and an ending set to church bells, but these don't really demonstrate how central faith, or a lack thereof, will be in Bergman's work. Jack's existential angst is also first introduced as a light aside, and while it does lead to some very heavy consequences, this sort of haphazard treatment is not really reflective of how fully Bergman would explore such despair in the future. But what's most shocking of all is the film's ending, where Nellie returns to her hometown and to Ingborg, and even gets together with the overprotective oaf she'd previously seen as little more than a friendly old man. Bergman's films do sometimes end happily, or at least happily-ish, but rarely with the restoration of a status quo. Resistance is a core theme for the filmmaker. Even the tiniest, most futile acts of defiance are often framed as heroic and noble. Of course, Nellie does not seem overly thrilled with her situation. As Smallwood describes, the ending of Crisis resembles the requirements of happiness, but is unmistakably crushing. So perhaps Bergman's anxieties about dominant power structures are more present than I'm giving them credit for. Crisis is far from perfect. The film is unfocused, and despite her centrality, Nellie is not a particularly fleshed out character. But as the first chapter to a legendary filmmaker's body of work, there's a lot of value here. Bergman's ascent may have been slow, but Crisis plants seeds which would eventually blossom into majestic beauty. Becoming Bergman indeed. Thank you.